So we're going to start by taking out these three A-frames that are the forward rack of the glass. So we have one, two, and three, and they are deployed one, two, and three. So drop the gate down, pin back. Set it as near as to where it belongs. Onto the deck that way. This is eight inches more when you're on the deck. You don't have to pick it up when you're moving it to its permanent position. into that at speed, uh, yeah, dire consequences. I set these up in the manner that they have an offset eye in the top up here, and the eyes have to face each other, so the cross members attach to each other. So I'm going to move down here and take all this stuff out. These are cross members that tie the A-frames together, one to three. A-frame number two does not get cross members. Close up everything as you go so you don't forget it. I'm going to take all the bridge boards out on this side. There's four. And they hang on the outside of these hangers. You have two legs that hang outside of each, each hanger under the undercarriage. so that you only touch it one time. You put it out here and you touch it one more time the last time you put it on before you get glass on the trailer. So now I'm gonna take everything out of this box. This toolbox has everything that is geared for that set of racks. Have two canvases. They come out, the canvas end caps, uh, your glass tarp, you'll put on the rear of the trailer. So it's out of the way. Some rubber rope that we sometimes use. The bolt box, these bolts are for all the components on the whole trailer. Two straps rolled up. Two straps rolled up. The 
four glass feet stirrups. And four ratchets. Mini A frames. There are two. Sometimes they are marked. There's a one right there. Can you see that? The one would be the forward A-frame and the two is the rear and the arrows denote which direction and then the arrow is always the front of the truck. So, all the gear is now out of this box that we need for glass. This is the snake, snake box and it has all of the corner boards and V-boards and cardboard V-board protectors. There's four packs. Each pack has a right and a left uh, corner, has a right and a left corner board and two V-boards. We're only setting up a half of the trailer, so I'm only going to pull half the gear out. And these are the feet. They are in these boxes the way that they are deployed on this trailer. So these feet are on each side. This is one, this is three, this is five, this is six. Number two A-frame and number five A-frame do not get feet. Just one, three, four, and six. So, so I stage this now where I want it. And the next time I put it up will be the last time I touch it before we get glass. there one set of fiberglass and quarter board and one set goes here I'm going to leave the feet where they are until I have everything set up. It's the last thing I'm going to do is set the feet up and tighten them down. We have We need eight bolts, long bolts, and four short bolts for each uh, set of racks. So you need 16 and um, 16 and 4, 16 and 8 total. Um, and they all have to have a split ring washer. Uh, can't use a flat washer and you can't use no washer. They all have to have a washer and it has to be a split ring um, lock washer. So I need 8 of the long with washers and four of the short. All right, and that's it. And there's no need to keep these out. So try to practice good housekeeping as you get as you go along. 
so you're not cleaning up a big mess later. to go up on top of the trailer. Everything's out, everything is near where it needs to be. I'm gonna go up and start setting up and uh, from there, it'll start coming together. So, got a 15, 16 inch wrench um, on the socket. It's better to have a deep well and if you can get a deep well impact, it's even better because they're more durable than the chrome vanadium, but they are still Either or, the deep one lets you get over the sides of the feet, whereas this one's limited to a smaller arc. I'm going to deploy all of my bolts. And I'm going to start back here. So, Safety is a very important concern. We don't want anybody falling off. Once you set up one of these and you forget your bolts or you forget anything, do not walk away from this rack unless you have it bolted to the deck. If you have to walk away from it, set it back down and go do whatever you need to do. But do not walk away from this rack with it unsecured. Tighten these down to the threads only. Sometimes it takes a little maneuvering to get the bolts and the nuts lined up. There's a reason that we don't tighten these up, and I'll explain that and show you in a moment. Next is to put in our cross members. Cross members tie in. Our end A frames. So I like to secure the first, the top one first, simply because. When we're at the bottom on the other side, you only have to line up one piece of equipment. bolted this one first then I have to marry those two together and have to match up two components when I'm doing the bottom one last I only have to match up one component because this one's stationary on the apron it just makes your job a little easier
Knee pads be a good investment if you're weak knee. All right, now why I didn't lock, lock those, uh, tighten these bolts up, we need a smooth surface on both sides. This is what glass rests on. Uh, if these are out of a line, then on thinner glass, you have the potential of breaking glass if these aren't lined up and flush with each other. So we use a straight edge, and we use the edge of one of our bridge boards. Don't use the, the flat edge, use the corner. I do not have contact with all three surfaces. I think if I kick this one back, I should. And I still don't, so one of these out here needs to be moved. surfaces now. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. Earplugs, if you're sensitive, might also be a good idea. Just go around in rotation and tighten all your feet down. You'll know when it's tight. For you guys that are bigger and stronger, you know, don't try to break it. on the trailer. Rubber rope, if you have it in your box and you know you might be needing it, it's got a loop in the middle. The loop goes on this upper tab right here. Just hang it on there. Straps also go on that tab. Your canvas end cap goes in this strut right here. And for corner boards and B boards are placed as such. Sure. Many A's in, don't even tighten them down to the uh, washer and leave them in line with the trailer. So everything on this end is in place. Once again, find that center loop. Hang it on tab. Put your two straps in place. Put your canvas end cap on the cross member on the support. Tie in your mini A. Put your 
fiberglass. And everything is in place now except for the feet. I'm not going to touch any of this gear again until we have glass on the trailer. So I haven't made, I've tried to limit and not have any excess of movement so as to waste time and energy um, so you're nice and organized. If you guys can come around this end down here, I got something to, and the camera can too. So these mini A's are offset. They're offset for the ease of reason of going into glass, right? So you don't put your mini A's, you don't deploy them until you have glass on both sides of this rack. Um, if I turn this this way, so th the sides of this are supposed to mimic the sides of the A-frame. So if I turn this this way, as you can see, I am not lined up. And you can see on the camera right there, I'm not lined up with this or this. So this is the wrong way. Such, that's when it lines up. They're offset purposefully to make it easier for them to slide into the glass when you have glass on. So, but before you do, once again, they ride down the road. They ride into the glass plant like this. Uh, not down the road. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> um, I am done up here. Everything's where it's be. I'm going to come down and put my feet on. So the next thing we do is get our feet and put them where they belong. Like I said before, they're in this box the way they're deployed on this trailer. So since I am only using half the trailer, I'm only going to use half the feet in this box. Try to remember to close stuff up. Get that out. I'm gonna grab my bolts. The reason that uh, has I don't put these feet out until very last is a safety issue. Uh, if it's hot outside, your heart's racing, you've done a lot of physical activity, you uh, may not be the best balanced at that moment. So bending over from up there and putting these feet in, uh, especially if it's somewhere really hot, is not a good idea. You know, bending over a four foot edge uh, when you could lose your balance uh, just come down here, do it. It's safer. So these feet go in, go up, go over that channel, and they come down where they belong. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. Tighten these as we go. these so this is a hollow channel right here and it goes over that angle that's in the foot of these uh, a-frames and also this hole right here is what captures the head of this bolt on the a-frame so the way you put these in is you go up and over Pick this up, slide it in, and let it come down on top of that bolt. And then just go ahead and bolt this down.
Repeat the process on the other side with the other two feet and we are complete and this is what you are set up as before you go and check in uh, to get your glass load. This is the last thing. This is how it's supposed to look before you go and get a bay assigned and your cardboard up and get ready for glass. And thus concludes today's demonstration. Thank you for your viewing pleasure.